Hey everybody, my name is Darby. Some of you may recognize my car from Good Life Time Attack. I also raced that Motivicity Speed Ring. And today we're going to open, be opening some boxes from Shaw Systems. They sent me their new driver cooling system and I can't wait to see what's in the boxes. This looks like the um, insulated like cooling hose, which is what the fluid monster is with your shirt. It's kind of like coolant, but it's biodegradable, um, food grade, non toxic, so it's no big deal if it you know, spills on you or anything. It's not going to eat your skin. And some dual prong connectors. I love their packaging. These are dry fittings as well, so when you unplug the cooling hoses, it doesn't spray everywhere, you just, you just unplug it, it's dry. This is the coolant formula that's the non-toxic biodegradable that I was mentioning. And it actually smells really good. It smells like that. Um, can't open it. <laughs> Ooh, carbon fiber ducting platinum. This is sweet. Box number two. I think this is the quantum cooler. The cool thing about the quantum cooler weighs less than 11 pounds. No ice, no water. Ice and water weighs a lot, so this doesn't. This is the, the actual quantum cooler that does all of the cooling work. So this quantum cooler is able to cool down to 40 degrees, which is extremely essential for really hot track days when you're in a hot car. I noticed that I was actually able to bring down my lap time because I was able to focus for longer. I like to work up to pace, so I don't usually go out my first lap and set a, and set a fast lap right away. I usually do two, three, four laps before I start really pushing the car. And that's when the car starts to get really hot. So this shot system comes in really nice to be able to cool me and keep me um, level-headed and able to focus. So this is really essential if you're trying to push to your limits as well as your car's limits. And here's the box number three. power supply so you can actually plug it into your trailer or RV or generator so that you can pre-cool the system before you get in the car. This is the remote control digital temperature display so you can turn on your system if you have it mounted remotely. I can turn it on and off and I can also change the temperature from in my car. This is their SFI rated Pro Touring shirt on uh, Novex material, super great construction. Let's check it out. Ta-da! Bang! The shirt fits comfortably snug. You want it to be somewhat tight against your skin so that it can absorb the heat out of your core to lower your overall body temperature. Alright guys! You filming? Okay, so today we're gonna go through getting your system up and running and primed. First things first, if you look in the bottom of your quantum cooler box, there will be a priming tube. And you're gonna use one of your dual prong connectors hook them to each other. Hook this up to your quantum cooler. Take the cap off. The version two calls for one part water to one part coolant mixture. And what I did was I drank half a bottle of water and then you can fill the rest of it with the coolant. Here. 
you're going to give it a shake. <laughs> you're gonna to wanna to fill it till it's about half an inch from the top. Put the lid back on. And then, the fun part, you're gonna to wanna to give this a shake, just like you're shaking a paint can. That's good. Now we can power the system on. And because I have the handy dandy bench power, over here. we're going to plug it in, prime the system. So you're gonna turn it on. And you can see the prime tube is filled up. I'm gonna add when necessary. So now we're gonna wait a couple minutes, give us a chance to bleed out all of the air bubbles. Once we don't see any, then we can stop the priming system. So it's usually about five minutes or until you don't see any more bubbles. So not much longer. Go ahead and turn that off. Now we can unplug. This is so freezing right now. Okay, now we're gonna put the awesome air duct on, and we're gonna do so with 3M double-sided tape. You can pick this up from any auto store. I got mine from O'Reilly's, 12 bucks, for the big roll, because I use it on other stuff. We're gonna do a full seal around the edges to make sure none of the air escapes. All right, so I'm gonna point it facing this way for how I have the ducting on my car. It can go either way, whichever way you need. I'm also gonna put this on with the mounting plate on the quantum cooler so I don't accidentally go over it and then can't put it on the plate. All right, now let's put this in the car. So because I've already had the version one of the quantum cooler, I have pretty much everything already set up. I decided to put the unit in my trunk because for my class, Grid Life Street Mod, um, I do have to have a passenger seat in my car. So I, I figured this would be the best spot to put it. We just welded a plate to the side of the rail here and then there's a hole where the spare tire used to go with a thick tack weld there as well. It's very strong. So here we have the new version two with the duct installed. And you put it on the base plate pretty easily. It's got these two slots here that it slides into at a little bit of an angle. And then sets down on the other side. There's two holes on, on the other end that have these cool little locking pegs. They also have rings on them, so it's extremely fast to take this unit in and out of the car. If, you know, if you're not racing it, you can just pop it right out. If you have multiple cars, you can hot swap it between them extremely fast. That looks so cool! So now we're gonna hook up our new shirt. I already have the lines run um, for my prior unit, but it, with the Miata and the, uh, with the unit in the trunk, it's really convenient because it goes, there's an um, opening through that hole there and I've got it fed right up to the driver's seat. Okay, so here are my lines. I've got these ready to go. These are the dry brake fittings so that if you have to get out of your car quickly, they actually pop apart pretty easily. Not easily enough that you're gonna pop them apart unwanted, but if you need to get out of your car, they will break away. Ooh, they're very tight fittings so that they don't leak at all. Now with these hooked up, we're gonna turn the system back on and continue to add fluid while it fills up all of the um, shirt poses. So just for sake of not having to idle my car, I'm gonna hook it up to the external power system. Okay, so now we're going to turn the system on. And we're going to immediately start seeing the fluid go down as it fills the shirt. Do 
you're going to want to make sure that this fluid level stays about a half inch from the top. The Quantum Cooler has multiple fail saves if you run it too low on fluid or if it's not getting enough air that it gets too hot, it will shut off to prevent any damage from happening. Now that we have our shirt bled, fluid in it, good to go, we can shut the system off and it's ready for use. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can follow me on Instagram at DarbyMX5. Also head over to chilloutsystems.com to check out their full product lineup, frequently asked questions, and install information there. Bye. <laughs>